Deidre's first pregnancy had some complications. She had a previous miscarriage, and doctors noticed some issues with the baby early in the pregnancy. I actually got anxiety from this. Um, I never had any type of anxiety before this, but the minute that they told me this, I just went into full-blown anxiety. I used to get panic attacks from this. Gradually, it got better as each sonogram was hard to go to. You know, we got anxiety just going there. But then once we heard everything was okay, it was like a, like a sigh of relief. A healthy baby boy, Stephen, was delivered by emergency C-section after 12 hours of labor. I was ecstatic to, to hold him, to, you know, to be with him. I couldn't wait till the nurses brought him in in his bassinet from the nursery. But within two weeks, her joy turned to sadness. I felt disconnected from him. I felt like when I put him in his bassinet to go to sleep, I was relieved because that meant I didn't have to be near him and I didn't have to take care of him for a while. Um, I would, mostly it was just a lot of crying and not knowing, like my, my head was in a fog. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know where I wanted to be. I just felt like I didn't want him and I, and I kept telling myself, but I, I do want him and I, and I was trying to convince myself that I wanted him. I couldn't even really take care of myself, let alone take care of him. Deidre's husband saw her crying, but she told him not to tell anyone. Then one day, when Stephen was about two months old, her mother was visiting, and Thedra reached her breaking point. I just started crying, and she said, well, you know, what's going on? And, and I told her, I, I've been feeling this for a little while, and, um, you know, I, I need some kind of help. I don't know what kind of help, but I need it. Thedra went to a therapist who put her on an antidepressant and met with her several times a week. He offered tips on how to connect with her son and encouraged her to keep a journal. It took her about six weeks to begin feeling better. Once I started feeling better, he was in his bassinet and I went over and I was, you know, looking at him and, uh, and I said, you know what, I, I can't wait, wait till you wake up because I, I want to, you know, I, I want him, wanted him to be up, I wanted to hold him, I wanted to uh, take pictures of him, I wanted to put his little outfits on, and I think that's when I started to realize that I was getting at least a little bit better. The experience helped Deidre prepare for the postpartum period when she became pregnant again. But she hopes other women can learn from her so they don't have to suffer. I think that I would have gotten the help instead of trying to hide it the first time. I think that I, sh um, I would have taken people's advice and trying to do a lot more to try and help myself. I think I was trying to be like super mom. I was trying to feel, I was feeling like, you know, I need to be a good mother and right now I'm not. And I, you know, I tried to do things that, um, to hide it. And I think I just needed to have it out there more and to just be, you know, tell somebody sooner than I did.